To the latest on that alarming story in Florida and that enormous sinkhole that's already eaten up part of one house and is threatening two more. One man dead after being swallowed by it. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the scene there in Sefner, Florida with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Good morning, Robin. This community is on edge. Much of the ground here is soft, and now crews have begun tearing down that sinkhole home. Wrecking crews are slowly uncovering what we still can't see this morning, a massive sinkhole that swallowed up a bedroom and 37-year-old Jeff Bush. The search for his body now called off. I'm so sorry that he couldn't, they can't get him out of the home. That's the last place he's going to be. For almost 40 years, this was home. Now it's an open grave filled with memories that workers pulled out for the family Sunday. An American flag, a teddy bear, a portrait from happier times, and a family Bible. Honestly, it means that God's still in control and he knew we needed this for closure. The nightmare started Thursday night at 11. The house just fell through. The bedroom floor just collapsed and my brother-in-law was in there and he's underneath the house. Bush was on his bed when suddenly the floor caved in. He and the bedroom were swallowed up by a sinkhole that would become 30 feet wide and 100 feet deep. Ground penetrating radars scanning for soft spots found many. Two neighboring homes, this one and this one, also in danger of a collapse at any moment. Families had just 20 minutes to get their belongings and go. Now Bush's family and friends are trying to move on, but just looking at what's left reminds them how quickly a life can change and end. Jeff laid his head down on his pillow to go to sleep, and he never got out of bed. Crews will finish that demolition today. What happens next, we just don't know, because they're going to get that first real look at that sinkhole. Robin. I want to see. All right, Gio, thank you very much. Yeah, what a sad story.